Hi, it's Urs and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And today we will take a look how I pack my Bishop Wands and same principles applies basically to any other pen style tattoo machine. Person in comments asked, how do I wrap my pens and battery? I mentioned in my videos two types how I wrap them, either it's in one piece or sometimes I wrap them separately, pen and battery separately. There's ups and downs for one and another method and I'll show you both and also how to wrap them with disposable tubes. There's a Pens. I have Criticals battery and Bishop's battery. Let's connect those things already. Boom, boom. And then there's a piece of clipcord sleeve. There are also pen machine bags. These are a bit wider than clipcord sleeve is. Obviously, it depends on the clipcord sleeve. These are 60 millimeters and that allows the bag to slide over battery. Be it this one or this one, it works just fine. If you have clipcord sleeves around 60 millimeters in width, that will work fine. This one is, I think, 55? 50. This is 50 millimeters, so that would be 2 inches for them people. This doesn't go over battery. Therefore, if I use this clipcord sleeve, I would need this plastic or some other solution to cover battery separately. Let's go with clipcord sleeve because it's here. So there's clipcord sleeve, grip tape, that's personal choice, paper towel, not really necessary for all, but I like to add a bit of thickness to the grip and a tape of your choosing. And for this process, it's definitely not a bad idea to wear gloves. And scissors, the object that always disappears in a tattoo shop. Let's start with a clipcord sleeve and with this combination. Yeah, I was trying, it was sliding just right over it, but the button was in the way and clipcord sleeve could not slide over it. So I'll take it roughly like that and snip a bit extra. Boom. So we having this situation going on. Slide it over. And with a bit of extra so it covers all the loose ends tape. Fold this thing over. A tape so it's all in there. And now I would like to puff up a bit of a grip. So you can use one or two or depends on your liking sheets of paper towel. So you don't have to use buttloads of this tape. Grip tape. For packer I like to use two layers. I like it chunkier. That's if I use it for coloring and all that stuff. Boom. So it's folded in half, then in three bits, and then put it around and tape other end down. Boom, and the grip tape for grippiness and looks. Poke a hole for cartridge so you don't have to mess with that when you're working. And now my favorite supply thing. I don't remember when I bought it, but it feels like it lasts forever. The sticky blue plastic. Pull the clipcord sleeve back and tape it. Obviously with this one be aware of a scream that it's up there and these loose ends overlap just for extra safety. Not that pretty, but functional. You can see all the digits. And what I like about this setup, when you need to adjust needle, it's a bit easier to manipulate this part. Boom, 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 boom. And you can also easily adjust battery depending on what angle you work, where the needle is, so this is all aligned. Now let's do other one with the wider bag, sort of machine bag or wider clipcord sleeve. Pretty much same story. Everyone's have their own little tips and tricks, and if you are on a Bishop's family Facebook group, you can see a lot of ways and methods of how people do that there. So now this one is packed all in one piece like that, and it slides easily over the battery tape. Boom. And in this part, I always like to leave a little sort of folded over so it's easier to open it when I'm done. That would go up here, fold one part in, stick to other one. Bam. So we have this situation going on. Paper towel, fold in half. Boom. And in three equal parts. Tape. Tape. Bam. Let's do the cool kids camouflage one. So that would be that and that's basically it. That's packing them before you work and then to take them apart that's also 
kind of pretty easy. That would be the whole thing with a needle and now we'll take it apart. Let's say we finished working so I'll do something like a clean hand, dirty hand-ish method but basically all this stuff you can do even with one hand. Boom, take the cartridge out and with these you will usually have a little corner where you can catch it and open the thing up. That would be folded in. It's easy and then with this one you can sort of push on a machine from top and it slides out and there you go. For this type of setup I left this little fold so that's for you to easier to find the tapes end. Do that thing out, that's open and again you can push on it and get it out and do your thing whatever you do. Now I'll show you one with disposable grip. Same principles apply, either you use bag or clipcord sleeve. I'll show with clipcord sleeve and with disposable grip it's even easier. That's the shorter sleeve that I had left from the when I cut it because you don't need that much when you use with the disposable grip. So I'll use the big chunky one so I don't need to add any additional paper towels around. That's again everyone's personal preference. So now we slide the sleeve over with a bit of extra and this part I usually put it like this type of a thing so there's only one layer of plastic over threads because you don't want to have too much plastic in threads and that's basically it and now you put disposable grip on screw it on this part bam first i was putting them on like that so it's nicer over the screen but that felt like it doesn't reach far enough so i got back to this jazz that's that tuck it in pull the plastic back this is what we have this is disposable grip nice and chunky don't forget to pre-poke it because it's all in there and you don't see it because if you don't pre-poke it you can stab yourself with a needle because that plastic is in there digits visible buttons visible work away when you're done needles out put a clean glove on or if you don't use glove do it with the hand depending on how you do things and depending what requirements are in your country in Denmark you could do the whole thing without gloves and it would be fine by the book. Take this part off and that's it. With or without glove obviously, with gloves it's always safer option. I prefer to use my clean hand without glove. I understand that there can be some micro cuts and scratches and whatnot. It's fine by the book in this country and it helps me to keep in mind that this one is clean one because I don't want to touch nasty stuff with my clean hand. So that helps me to remember that this one is definitely clean hand. These were my methods of packing it. Now a little hack. If you are in a situation where you have bishop wands, but you don't have disposable grip, but you need one, and you are in a place where you are surrounded by people who use Cheyenne machines. Turns out that this little round grip fits bishop's machine. Not perfectly, but you can work with it. I tried this longer one out of curiosity and it doesn't fit in, it just doesn't go over some parts in there over the machine. But since this one is so short, you can just put it on and it works. It looks weird. If you are in this situation and you have these around, it's not a bad idea to give it a try. Let's pack it in. Don't have gloves in this room, so I'll just do this. You get the idea. This is a demonstration tape. If you use Bishop's battery, you don't want to tape over numbers, so that's something to keep in mind. This one already have hole, so bow. So this would be on a sort of furthest out end. It's around two millimeters of the needle, so that would be that. And you can always make it shorter. Bow. I bought these grips to see if they work on other manufacturer machines and they didn't. I was not expecting them to work on a Bishop because I tried with this one before, but somehow it did. And since we're packing things, there's a good old pedal, critical connect pedal, this size machine bag. Well, I pressed it, it's blinking now. One way to get rid of the blinking the fastest is just to connect the battery so it knows that it's connected and then just switch it off. Plus minus together, press plus, it's connected and let's switch it off. 
That was my little demonstration on how I wrap my pen style tattoo machines and a little tip with the Cheyenne's grip that it fits on Bishop. It's this type of a grip, the little round one. So this is just kind of my demonstration. Obviously use gloves and use all the safety features as your best knowledge. That would be up to you. This is a video on how I wrap machines. It's not like a cross-contamination control video. So remember to use gloves when it's necessary and use them as they are up for your local regulations and your best knowledge of the good kind of practice. And now you, if you have anything to add or take away from this video, leave that in the comment section and do the usual. Press likes. If you awesome, share the video. Check video's description. There's a bunch of playlists and other useful links. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in a future episode. Bye. Peace. Stay safe. Stay safe.